Hi again, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Since Robin Williams' passing on Monday, there has been no shortage of inspiring stories to help mourners honor the late actor. But one particularly poignant event in the beloved comedian's life has been kept a secret until now. Back in 2004, Williams arranged through the Make-A-Wish Foundation to meet with Jessica Cole, a young Greensboro, North Carolina girl who was dying from brain cancer at the time. Her final wish was to meet Robin Williams, her hero, whom she particularly loved because of his role in Mrs. Doubtfire. But when Jessica became too sick to travel to California to meet the Academy Award winner, he wouldn't backtrack on his promise. He chartered a private plane and then spent the afternoon playing cards and watching football. Jessica passed away two months later. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago and tomorrow's the day. Elvis's 1963 Rolls Royce complete with car phone will be auctioned off tomorrow morning in Carmel, California. It's expected to fetch between three and four hundred thousand dollars. The smartphone company OnePlus has canceled a promotional contest after it was accused of being sexist. Women were invited to post pictures of themselves, then they would be voted on. Company executives say that they are deeply sorry and would like to make up for it to the contestants. Mainly the really hot ones with dinner and a movie. A new study finds that older people are more mentally sharp in the morning. Well, that explains why telemarketers are calling me in the evening. U.S. wildlife officials have decided against offering federal protection to wolverines. Critics say that without a guarantee of federal protection, prosecutors can no longer expect wolverines to risk being called as witnesses in high-profile criminal cases. This week, the European Space Program made its final delivery to the International Space Station. In a cost-saving move, beginning next week, all deliveries will be made by Amazon. According to a new study, for the first three months after birth, the brains of newborns grow at an astonishing rate of 1% per day. That explains all the noise they make. You'd cry too if there was something inside your head pushing against your skull. Gainesville, Florida police say that a college student suspected of murdering his roommate turned to his iPhone to find out the best place to dispose of a body. Siri is being held for questioning. A new study warns that while exercise for heart attack survivors is good, they should limit their running to no more than four miles a day. I take a similar approach to nutrition, no more than four bags of Oreos a day. Hey, thanks for checking in. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report every weekday. Hey, watch for the Frank D'Angelo Band appearing across the country during their fall tour. September 19th in Montreal at the Leonard da Vinci Theatre. September 20th in Ottawa at the Lac Lame Casino. September 25th in Toronto at the Markham Theatre. And October 4th in Halifax at the Casino.